my Mucinex cleaners. Um, we're gonna be playing some more BTT battles together. To yeah, I guess I could say together. I mean, why wouldn't I? You know. And um, and I'm playing on a different account. I'm playing on my account. I have more medallions because uh, you know, I'm scared that I'm gonna lose a lot of medallions on my girlfriend's account. So yeah. Uh, I think we're going to play some warm-up Ceramic Crucible games. At least, like, one or two, depending on how long they are. And then get into Moet Pit. I just want to make sure I, st I got it, you know? <laughs> no, but freaking... I guess I can tell you guys a story about what happened to me on my, uh, on my game. On, on my account, okay, so basically, I got in the top 500 in the prestige leaderboards, you know, I was just, I was just playing for fun and all, and I got in the top 500 on, uh, prestige leaderboards, you know, and I, I thought it would be cool to have that little symbol, okay, but then I played when I woke up, and I think I played BFB Coliseum, and I played a bunch of games of BFB, BFB Coliseum. I got to 200k medallions. And then I lost them all. I lost every... I, I, I lost the medallions that I had gained. I didn't lose all my medallions. And I'd also... Like... Went so low in the ranked leaderboards. I mean in the prestige leaderboards. To the point where... I wasn't even a rank. Okay? Um... And something weird about the the world leaderboards, as I notice, is that if you lose a game, it doesn't actually um. So what I like, oh, I didn't know my, it doesn't lower the amount that uh the amount of medallions you have on the world leaderboard, which is really cool, I think. Trying to lose the most, the least amount of lives. But yeah. Uh, oof. Oof. Why did I do that? I don't know. <gasps> that one red balloon made the big difference. Oh my god. The good news is this guy's behind on farms, but yeah, I um, I kept my world leaderboard rank, but not my rank leaderboard rank. And I actually think it's it's cool how they don't lower you when you lose games. Okay, what is this guy doing? He can't handle pinks right now. I'm pretty sure. Maybe with that upgrade, no, no, still no. He definitely can't handle blacks. I don't understand why he would do that. Why is he selling his towers and rebuying them? I don't get it. I'll save up for like a small green rush. Try to get into the battle energy on round uh, seven. Come on. There you go. All right. Now us, we are in a world of trouble if he uh, yellow rushes us. Oh, um, I got a battle energy. <laughs> Oof. Well done. He did play that really well.
Um, he needs to handle his camo leads. So do I. Oh no. I mean, oh yes, but like, oh no for him. Um. Camo region lights will just cost so much money. I don't know if I want to do it. Which is cheaper, camo region lights or camo region zebras? Okay. Oh. Oh. Why did I send camo? <laughs> Is that enough? I don't think so. Got him down to 13 lives. Hmm. Let's... Mix it in with this. You know, make sure it gets real far. At least far enough. Okay. And we will take him down. Nice. First game victory. Um. Let's see. Only six minutes? Yeah. We can play another game. I don't want to play another game with that guy, though. I don't know. I, I want to go against a more skilled player. Because we're going to be playing a Moat Pit. If It's not practice if you're going against noobs. Shoot, dude. One thing I learned in BTD Battles is that it doesn't matter what your win or loss record is. I Like, you can go against a guy that has, like, 500 losses and, and 200 wins, okay? And still get destroyed. Shoot. There are people on here that are probably better than the top players. But they just don't play. It's all about how you look at it. But for Ceramic Crucible, this is my main setup I have. You know? This is my main winning, win all games type of setup that I like to do. I love it when I get Cobra because it's a lot cheaper than a freaking uh, Apache Dart ship to defend a BFB. Oof. That won't work. There we go. Alright. I hope the mic quality is good. I'm sorry if it's not. Oh, forgot to send my two sets of reds. Come on. Money, money, money. Yeah. But, I mean, I tried to explain this uh, strategy the last time I played. Or the last time I recorded. I think I want to explain it in more detail. So, your two sets of reds. Okay. What that's for is so you can send an extra pink. And still get your uh, banana plantation on time. Like, watch. I can send an entire set of pinks. Plus one more. And then I'll still be able to afford it. <laughs> it's very nice. Because you cause problems for them. More problems than usual. You get two more ego than usual. I don't know, you get a lot more t than two if you count the pinks. Okay. It's just overall nice. I think I wanna... No. No time to be indecisive. I need that extra banana that I get. Um... 
Okay, let's send some greens. No, 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 I didn't see the wizard. Ugh, I wasn't paying attention. He's sending greens to me. All right. Um. Oof. Probably didn't need the battle energy, but I don't know. Seems like he's switching to eco. Mm -mm. I could overwhelm his wizard. Because the... With the yellow balloons, the, the... Darling Gunner doesn't really do much against yellow balloons. So that, that can just exit off. It's, even if it's upgraded. It has to be at least third tier. Um, But I could overwhelm him. I think I'm going to wait until round 11. Let's hope he doesn't send me freaking camel leads. Because I hate it when people do that. Alright. It's an A region lead. With these. Dun -dun. Met him battle energy on round 12. That's always good. Alright, let's see if you all out region rainbows rush me. Let's get another uh one of these ready, just in case. If he doesn't do anything, he doesn't have enough friggin' defense for uh for some zebras with a rainbow behind. Still doesn't have enough defense. I mean, maybe with the battle energy. Yeah, he gets it with the battle energy, but still loses a lot of lives. I only wasted like $2,000 on that. What do you say? We go for another, but bigger? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's switch to actual rainbows. He got a tornado wizard. Might be enough. Yeah, that was enough. Alright. Just in case he sends the Moab. Uh, he can't really handle a Moab, I don't think. Maybe with the Tornado Wizard. I'm going to send some region leads under it. Oh, here it is. It's Battle Energy. Because I saw the ceramics. Okay, our turn. I saw a lot go through. Okay, like I thought. Man, that scared me for a second. I was like, did he defend it? Did a freaking tornado wizard actually target right? Oof. All right. Well, he did play well. I mean, if I look at this back, I, there might have been something else I could do to end the game earlier. But I think we're going to go in one game of Moab Pit. All right, one game for the video. I don't like playing with lag. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Now, 
What I like about going against better players is that they don't anti-stall. One, they don't anti-stall. Two, they just go with the meta. Okay, they don't like round 13 rush or anything like that. Some of them don't. But I don't know. What rank is that? <laughs> what rank is this guy? <laughs> rank 1. Uh, he, he placed number 1. Let's see if we can beat him. This is going to be fun. I don't know if I like that setup. I might want to go with Monkey Ace. Monkey Ace seems to be better in some cases. Let's see what we get. Fourth Tower. Come on. Good Fourth Tower. Dark Monkey. I'll take it. Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is definitely going to be fun. Oh, he shake his head at me. I don't know if I should go for a ninja start. Let's just not go with with a ninja start. Uh, he's sending me space blues. He went with a ninja start, so let's do it. He's gonna have to defend those two. I hope he realizes that. I I hope he doesn't realize it. I'm not gonna start getting overwhelmed for a while. Ooh. Now that is a really good combo. Especially if you have good micro. Alright, I'm expecting some um group balloons. Group blues from this guy. Unless he just wants to get his farm up. I mean, that's okay with me. I can't get greedy. I have to start getting at least some defense up by round 6. Okay. Let's send some... Space Pinks. Cause him some more problems. It's not enough. You need to get at least a double shot. There we go. Alright. Uh, catapult. I think I want to put it... I think... I'm not really good with catapult spots. He's shaking his head at me. I need to get enough uh, cleanup. Because if I don't have enough cleanup, I'm going to be in a world of trouble. <laughs> I'm thinking Bloom Jitsu. Blue like Bloom Jitsu.
I can't tell if he has it up or not. Oof. <laughs> Killed by the all out region rainbow rush from a number one player. I should have went with the monkey ace. It's okay. Red Robins, yum. I don't know, should I play another game? I don't want to go against an, a, a top number one player again. I'm not that, trust me. If we lose this match, we're staying out of Moab pit. I don't know. He is a number one player, so let, let's try to copy his strategy. Ninja Mortar. Farm. Let's see how it does. Maybe not on this map. I think I'm going to go with my usual strategy. I just know how to play it better. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped uh, Spike Factory. It's a pretty good late game. I'm gonna have to go hard on this uh Dark Monkey player. I don't think that's enough to stop the Reds. He needs to get more up. He's not rushing me. I don't have anything to worry about. Let's boost some pinks. He's sending me pinks. That's not really the uh, thing you should do against a heli pilot. Oh no. Still sending pinks. I'm going to try blacks on round six. On round 7, I'm going to switch to uh, greens, because I know that he can't handle greens right now. The thing about Dark Monkey players is that you can't just leave them alone, okay? Just like the strategy I'm using. Eco kind of counters it. Mmm, battle energy on round 7. Ugh. Now I'm uh, again. I'm in a world of hurt if uh, if he sends me a counter rush. I'm open to an immediate counter rush. That's the thing about you know getting greedy on on round seven. Any time you get greedy on round seven. He 
scared over there. I don't know if he's going to rush me. All right. He's getting more dot markers up. He's just not playing too well right now. Now he's gonna have to have have to get the money up for the juggernaut. That's gonna put him more in debt with his freaking uh whatchamacallits? With his farms. Is he gonna all out region rainbow rush me? Or round eleven rush me or something? I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna be region leads. I'm just gonna get a turbo charge up for safekeeping. And uh where is the rotors? Oof, I gotta poop so bad. Made him battle energy again. <laughs> He's so mad. I gotta get up at least a third tier farm. Third tiers are more efficient than uh, second tier farms, so <laughs> why not? If anything goes wrong, I always got my turbo charge by my side. Okay. Oh man, dude. You ever have those like poops where your butthole hurts and you gotta poop that bad? I've had poops where, um,. Where I basically, like, I enjoy it, you know? It's kind of like the relief of getting all that, like, pressure out of me. Maybe I'm the only one. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, as we say uh, here, the greed kills. And this guy has gotten greedy. He's gonna have to battle energy. And after he battle energies, guess what? Another freaking Moab's coming out. Oh, he got up a super monkey flan club. Flan. Flan is in, uh, you know, cool. Oof. Had to do it. I don't know if we have enough money to defend a BFB. So, we can either try to defend it or counter rush him. Okay, we do have enough money to defend a BFB. But I'm gonna counter rush. Not counter rush, just rush. Period. Um. I don't think he's going to be able to handle the group balloons, and we take him down. Good. I'm glad I got my freaking medallions back. Good game. He played pretty well, actually. Oh, but he's salty. Salty guy. Salty, salty. All right, how long is this recording going on? Perfect. 30 minutes. You know, one, two games, lost one game, won another game. Um, I only gained 4,000 medallions in the end, I think, but, uh, but we had fun. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow.